everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today we're going to do a resin heart paperweight, and I just wanted to do a little experiment to see what kind of an effect that we can get using paint pens on our silicone mold. Here's my silicone mold, and here are just some paint pens that I have. So I'm just going to use, I'm just going to use this cavity, and all I'm going to do is just put little dots or swirls or scribbles in different spots on the mold. Okay, I'm going to leave that one like that, and on this one, all I'm going to do are little dots. And I'm going to use all the colors except the metallic. Pink is a little runnier than the other colors, so I'm going to have bigger pink blobs in here. Now in this one, I'm also going to put some dots along the sides. I don't know how high I'm going to go yet, so I'll just put a bunch of dots on there. I have some resin mixed, and it's just clear resin. I'm going to pour a thin layer into each of the hearts. I'm going to take my lighter and just pop any bubbles and then we're going to just let this sit. I'll probably let it sit 8 to 12 hours. The first layer of resin has cured and now all I'm going to do is take my pens again and make more dots on this next layer. And more kind of scribbles on this one and tiny dots on this one. So here they are so far with the next layer of dots and scribbles. Now I'm gonna mix some more resin and put it on top of there. So I have some resin mixed and I'm just going to pour it right over to give it another layer on each of the hearts. Then I'll take my lighter, pop the bubbles, and we will let this sit for 12 hours and then I'll come and maybe do one more layer of dots and scribbles. And then we could put our final coat on there, our background coat. So this has cured and I'm gonna do one more layer of dots and scribbles and then we're gonna put a background color on. So I'm just gonna repeat exactly what I have done. Up until now, I'm just gonna add dots everywhere. And now I want to put a background color on there so that the dots and the little scribbles will pop a little bit more. So I have a couple ounces of resin mix, definitely more than I need. And I'm going to add just a tiny bit of this white pigment just to give it a little bit of a base. And then I'm also going to add this macro pearl pigment powder. It's a white pigment powder, but I was afraid it wouldn't be completely opaque on its own. So that's why I added a little bit of the other pigment as well. So I'm going to get that all mixed in and I'm going to just pour it in. I'm going to take my lighter, pop the bubbles, and I'm going to let this sit a minimum of 12 hours before I come back. The hearts have cured, now we can pop them right out of the molds. So here's the one with the scribbles on it, and I went with just the plain white background so the colors, all of the colors would show. And here you can see how it looks, and there it is on the front. And the cool thing about it is the depth that you get by doing the different layers. Here's the polka dot one, and I did the polka dots down the side, so the polka dots are everywhere. And I started out by just doing the paint right on the silicone mold. And the really cool thing is that the paint becomes one with the resin. So this will not scratch off, rub off, or do anything. It's forever a part of the resin. So here are my two versions of the hearts with the paint. And I hope you like them, and I hope you give it a try. And again, I went with the white background just so that the colors would pop. If I did other colors, we might lose some of some of the colors in there. So let me know what you think of them down in the comments below. They're cute paperweights. Um, they're cute just to have around. You can turn them into ornaments by drilling a hole into the top and adding an eye screw. And then you could have like an ornament or it could hang in a window or wherever you want it to be. So I thought that would just be a fun little project. Thanks guys so much for watching the paint and resin 
per paper weights and I hope you like them and I hope you give them a try. Remember I have a Creating with Craft Clutch group over on Facebook. It's a free group where you can share your ideas, get help from other people and just become part of this crafting community. And I will have a link to that down in the description below. I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.